the thing is that in order to even start the relationship or to even kind of break the ice is you have to have resources available, meaning, you know, like, hey, you know, I got this awesome video that will fucking tremendously help you out, right? That like, check this out, can I text it to you? And that creates the exchange, right? But the initial icebreaker, whenever you're at these network events, is just to be you. So let them know. Is be like, dude, I'm totally out of my realm. To be honest with you, between you and I, I'm an introvert. I have no idea what I'm doing. How long have you been going to these events? They're gonna feel you. They're gonna be like, oh man, don't worry about it. It's all good. I come here all the time. This is what I do. Okay, cool. This is what I do. And my job mm -hmm. is my manager sent me here to go ahead and network everybody, but I have no idea what I'm doing. Right? So with your experience, what would you do if you were me? And they'll tell you. Now they're equipping you with the do's and don'ts, right? Right? The cadence. So you understand you feel a little bit more confident. And then you create kind of your own. But in short, what it is that you're just trying to get on an even playing field with them while at the same time making the contact feel like they are above you, right? You want to fluff them. And there's a science to that. Even though you're doing better than them and you get to a position where you're crushing it, you still want to make the other person feel like they're valuable. When they're at a point where they feel that they're valuable, they feel that they are an expert. And so they are more inclined to tell you information. That's the positioning, right? So you want to make them feel like they're above you. And there's a reason is because you can infiltrate their business, what they do, what they need, right? What they're missing, what they're lacking and things like that. You don't need to put yourself in a position if you have a choice to go and hunt your deals, unless that's what you want to do, right? One of the mm -hmm. reasons why I never went outside retail is because I'm like you. I'm not that dude that say, hey, my name's Daniel. You know, what do you do? Oh, that's not me. <laughs> I don't do that. Right? I'm going to chill in the back. I'm going to watch and I'm going to read the room. Right? And there's going to be a few people that I could see. I'm like, okay, I can click with them. So I'll go talk to them. But I'm not the type of person that you would expect like, hey, you know, this is me. And that's just, you know, I'm not wired that way. But if you're not wired that way, then take from my experience right now, go inside. Don't go outside. Don't put yourself under that pressure. You want to put yourself in the position that you will more likely succeed and position yourself that way. Whereas right now, if you went into outside, you're trying to network, you know, that's not you, that's not your vibe. Then it's going to waste a lot of valuable time and the window's going to close and it's going to just be a harder climb for you.